Hello viewers, welcome to the Editorial Analysis by Drishti IES. In this section, we regularly take editorials from various newspapers and news portals for a better understanding of various issues happening in India and around the globe. In this section, we first try to link the editorial with our UPSC syllabus, then we go analytical in order to understand some key points and at last some important concepts. Dear viewers, we truly hope that you like this initiative taken by Drishti IAS and your feedbacks are important for us. So kindly feel free to give your important feedbacks in the comment section. So without any further delay, let's commence our session. Dear viewer, this video is available in Hindi as well. If you wish to watch it, please visit our Hindi YouTube channel Drishti IAS. For your convenience, the link for this video in Hindi has been provided in the description below. Today's editorial is taken from the Indian Express published on 5th of November 2020. The title of today's editorial is Just Like Corn. If we try to summarize today's editorial, we can say that Bihar desperately needs jobs and incomes and agriculture can create both on and off farms. If we try to link today's editorial with our UPSC syllabus, we can link it with GS Paper 3 which has sections involving major crops, cropping pattern in various parts of the country, different type of irrigation, irrigation systems, storage, transport, marketing of agricultural produce, issues and related constraints, e-technology in the aid of farmers. Some key points from today's editorial. The Bihar's agricultural potential has never been in doubt. It's fertile alluvial soil and abundant water resources from the Ganga and tributary rivers such as Son, Gandak, Bagmati, Kosi, Mahananda have always made it the perfect destination for India's second green revolution. Now, the most important thing to understand here is that Bihar's agricultural potential, no one had any doubt regarding that. One of the most important reasons for that agricultural potential is because of the presence of fertile alluvial soil which is brought by Ganga and various tributaries of the river Ganga. Examples like Son River, Gandak, Bagmati etc. So it can be said that these particular situations they may ensure that there will be a second green revolution or you can say that Bihar can be one of the most suitable destinations for the second green revolution of India. However, the state hasn't quite delivered on the promise, though glimpses of what it can do can be seen, for instance in maize. However, the kind of potential Bihar has got and the results we have seen, they are totally different. The results are not according to the potential. However, there are several crops such as maize where the tremendous potential of Bihar can be seen. Bihar today produces nearly one fourth of the country's maize with its average yield over twice the national average. Many farmers, especially in the Kosi Simanchal belt, are harvest 50 quintal or more per acre, which is comparable to that in the United States Midwest Corn Heartland. Now if we speak about maize and Bihar's contribution, so it is something which is amazing. Now Bihar produces over 25% of the entire country's production of maize. And if we speak about the yield, the average yield in Bihar is twice as that of the national average. There are many farmers, especially in regions such as Kosi Simanchal Belt, where the yield is so amazing, it is around 50 quintals or more per acre. And it is almost as same as what we see in the corn heartland of United States. United States is one of the largest producers and also the biggest exporter of corn and corn based products. Okay, so if we talk about maize production in Bihar, there are three different kind of maize that is being sown by the farmers. 
Number one is known as the Rabi maize. Now it is sown in the month of October, November. The second is the Garma variety. If we talk about that, it is the Garma variety, G-A-R-M-A, -A, the Garma variety. Now the Garma variety of maize is sown in the month between February and March. There is another third type which is also known as the Kharif maize or Bhadi. Kharif maize or B-H-A-D-A-E-E, -A -A -E, Bhadi. Now this is sown in the month of June. If we talk about some of the core areas in Bihar which has got a tremendous potential in maize production and they are also performing accordingly. So they are districts like Purnia, Katihar, Araria, Madhepura, Bhagalpur, Khagariya, Begusarai, etc. If we take comparison, if we look at the production, so last year, that is 2018-2019, the total production of Rabi maize from Bihar was around 16 lakh metric ton. 16 lakh metric ton. The same value was a bit higher a year ago, that was in 2017-2018. In 2017-2018, the production of maize from Bihar itself was around 16.45 lakh metric ton. So we can see that the region has got a tremendous potential. Also, if we speak with respect to India, we can say that India is among the top 10 producers in maize and India actually contributes to around 14%, 14% of the total global export of maize. So this is the tremendous potential which we have with respect to the farmers in Bihar and with reference to maize production. Now, if you look at the present scenario, Bihar's corn revolution has been entirely a private sector one. It should be noted that the such amazing production, such amazing cultivation and such amazing results which we have seen with reference to corn, you can say this particular situation as a kind of corn revolution. It can be attributed only and only to the private sector. The credit goes mainly to multinational seed companies which introduced the cultivation of single cross maize hybrids. Now when we are talking about some hybrid maize seeds, it should be noted that with respect to hybrid seeds of maize, the total market of the maize hybrid seeds is around 1500 crores. Now this is the value of hybrid maize seeds market. Important multinationals about which we are talking or you can say the important manufacturers, they are Syngeta, Syn Geta. Also, you have Pioneer, Pioneer. You have another manufacturer named as Kaveri Seeds. Also, there is one more important manufacturer, Monsanto, Monsanto. So these are the manufacturers, these are the private players who have actually came and they have played a completely game-changing role here for the state of Bihar with reference to that of the maize or you can say the corn production. When we are speaking about some of the hybrid varieties of maize seeds, so they are, they can be 3, 1, Y, 4, 5. Another one can be P3396. There is one more variety which is P3501. So these are some important hybrid varieties of maize. Now they along with large trading firms. So these manufacturers along with the large trading firms and feed millers recognize the potential of planting these during the rubby winter spring season when the mild temperature with clear skies absent of flooding and low pest disease infestation were conducive for high yields. So what exactly these manufacturers, seed manufacturers along with other trading firms, they discuss that what could be the most appropriate time for the sowing of the hybrid seeds so that they can have a 
very good quality of yield. So they have worked accordingly and they have decided the seasons that these are the most appropriate season for the cultivation of maize. Moreover, this crop could be harvested during April to June when there was no corn available from the early 2000s. But it isn't just corn. The state other agricultural success stories, be it lychee or makhana, have also been largely because of the private enterprises. See, when we are talking about maize, so it's not just maize where the private sector has come into picture and they have completely changed the situation. The same pattern, the same trend can be seen in many other crops, crops such as lychee or the fox nut, also known as makhana in Hindi. Okay. And all this has done without any minimum support price-based procurement or functional APMC mandis that farmers in Punjab, Haryana and MP take for granted. And the most important thing which is to be noted here that there was no assurance from the government. There was nothing as minimum support price. There were no functional APMCs where these farmers they can sell their produce. It was just and only the private firms and they created such a proper management system that everything which has been cultivated, everything which has been produced is bought by these private sector organizations. So it is something which we have to see, which we have to learn here. The government needs to learn that what exactly should be the measures. Government should sit along with these private sector organizations and take an idea that how such initiatives can be run in various other parts of the country for any particular crop or you can say for all the crops which are produced. The way ahead, the government, the one taking over after current assembly elections can do much more. Definitely, right now it is high time in Bihar and because Bihar is going through an election, so once the government, the new government is elected or Nitish Kumar regains, he again becomes the chief minister. So it entirely depends upon the government that what exactly it wants to do. And yes, there is a brilliant scope for it. Bihar's rural road have certainly improved in the last two decades. But this is not so with Bijli and Pani. See, Bihar's road infrastructure has definitely improved in the last two decades. But the same thing cannot be said about clean water and electricity. Bijli and Pani. Now this Bijli and Pani, electricity and water, they might be available for homes. But even today, the farms, they don't have proper irrigations. So we have to work on this as well, that how better the irrigation of these farmlands can be done. Without three-phase power supply, farmers use diesel pump for irrigation, which is expensive and also leads to poor harnessing of the state's rich groundwater aquifers. See, in Bihar, even many areas, there is an absence of three-phase power supply. Now, just for an information, what exactly three-phase power supply is? See the alternating electric current, the AC that is supplied to your home, it can be provided via two different connection. Number one is single phase connection. Now the single phase connection will be having two wires. Now there is another connection which is known as three phase connection. So three phase connection is something which has three or four wires. If we talk about a single phase connection, it is used by people and there is one plus point associated with single line collection, a single phase connection. It is easier to balance the electrical load of the network. If we speak about the three phase connection, it is suited more for consumption of a building. Okay, that has got very powerful machines. And it is also said that three phase connection, they carry three times as much power as compared to a single phase connection. So the government has to work on this. Government has to ensure that the farmers are getting a three phase power supply because when the farmers are using diesel pump for irrigation, it is actually very expensive and it is definitely adding up to the cost. So if government takes any such initiative that by providing them electricity, that by providing them water facilities, the 
aim, the target of increasing the income of the farmers can definitely be achieved. The next government should focus on affordable electricity, not just for LED bulbs and fans, but also to power tube wells, milking machine, bulk cooler. So the next government, which whoever will come, they have to focus electricity, not just for fans and bulbs, but their target has to be to provide electricity to power tube wells, milking machines, bulk cooler. See, bulk cooler, if you don't know, bulk cooler is a kind of large storage tank for cooling and holding milk for at a cold temperature. You must have seen such tanks, okay? So government should focus on these areas. Farmers also need markets. Dismantling the monopoly, APMC Mondays, does not mean shutting them down. Farmers, apart from the private organizations, if government is also doing something and government is also encouraging, so definitely there will be an increment in the income of the farmers. Bihar desperately needs jobs and incomes and agriculture is that one source which can provide plenty of these both on agricultural farmlands as well as well as in the various industries such as food processing okay etc so agriculture can provide jobs both on and off farms as well viewers this was with today's editorial let's see what can be the questions with respect to today's editorial Number one, how has the emphasis on certain crops brought about changes in cropping patterns in the recent past? Elaborate the emphasis on maize production and consumption. There is, next question, there is also a point of view that agriculture produce market committees set up under the state acts have not only impeded the development of agriculture, but also have been the cause of food inflation in country. Critically examined. These two questions have been asked in previous year's UPSC mains examination. So try to write an answer for this. So viewers, this was with today's editorial. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much.